reasons, right? So I, th I think we need to give some kind of roles to other platform operate, or operators in this meeting. I agree with doc Dr. So. So is it possible that each presentation and discussion session, not only JMOOC, KMOOC, or TIMOOC, maybe we can invite uh, MOOC from other country to be the presenter, but JMOOC, KMOOC, and TIMOOC be the, be the uh, maybe discussion follow -up. We take, take change the law for some session, JMOOC, Lead the discussion for some session, maybe at the MOOC. Can lead the sessions, but uh, other platform operators they actively involve in the session and presentation, pre present their case cases to the audience and panel, right? So the Malaysia has different platforms, so they have different interests in. Uh, our platforms. So I think we need to harmonize that aspect. And also Philippines and B Vietnam and Cambodia, Laos, they, they haven't developed their own platforms. So they have different like uh, interest in this uh, meeting. So we need to a little bit satisfy their, their needs. Otherwise, just we say, like, we are advanced platforms and we are advanced programs. What so you. I know. Selective. We should be selective. Uh, and uh, you never uh, have the chance to cover all 46 member states for UNESCO, right? So I think it's good, uh, but also don't remember, it's not the last meeting, right? We are planning to bring together also these uh, platforms uh, to a meeting and then to think of uh, developing a consortium uh, or alliance uh, together. So this is another issue, I think. Uh, don't worry about this. Uh, the second session will be among these uh, um, platforms, but it's selected platforms we can engage the major platforms. Uh, for example, in some countries, they do not have these national platforms. Then just forget. Um, so it's, it's not a problem. I don't think it's a problem. But it, one thing is for sure that we are, UNESCO are going to bring together all the MOOCs platform to a meeting, then to launch a common network. This is another issue. Vietnam, they also, they want to develop their own MOOC courses.
okay, just um, just to make sure that we have the same picture, please allow me to go through the program again. On the first day, nine o'clock, we start with opening remarks by all the stakeholders here, which would be JMOOC, KMOOC, UNESCO Bangkok, and Thai MOOC. We have allocated half an hour for this, <coughs> including photo session. It has to finish within half an hour. Uh, I will write down photo session. And then after that, we will allocate 15 minutes for MOU signing between the three MOOCs, JMOOC, KMOOC, and Thai MOOC. And then um, we will explain about the Bangkok Statement Draft. So this is also another 15 minutes. And we're going to have 15 minutes refreshment break. 15 minutes. After the break, then we will come back with the um, keynote speaker number one for half an hour on policy level. This will include presentation plus Q&A. So say 20 plus 10 makes 30 minutes. After the keynote finish, we're going to have presentations and discussion on policy level. For this, we will invite representative from JMOOC, KMOOC, and Thai MOOC to make short presentation. Each has 10 minutes. After that, the facilitator will ask questions to the panel. After finish the questioning, then the floor will be open to the public. This will continue until 12.15, and then we're going to have lunch until 1.30. 1.30, we will come back with the keynote speaker, too, who will focus on platform and portal level. After the keynote, too, we're going to have the same format of the presentations. It will be from JMOOC, KMOOC, and Thai MOOC. Until 3 p.m., we're going to have 15 minutes refreshment break. After 15 minute break, we come back until 4.30 for continuing discussion on platform and portal level. Then after that, at 6 p.m., we're going to have welcoming dinner. Okay, this is the first day. Any questions on the first day, please? It's possible that uh, we change the the KMOOC, KMOOC, KMOOC presentation to to similar to the second day that we invite maybe invite other MOOC that uh, for some MOOC to to present in each session. Yeah, not not only Thai MOOC, KMOOC, KMOOC. We we, we uh, let them have uh, some presentation. Okay, like this, like uh, like what we're typing right now, and invited. Um, professor so said the focus here is on JMOOC, Thai MOOC, and KMOOC, right? Um, professor Wang said it could be um, selective because we have the program on purpose. So should we keep the JKT, or we can just leave it as an invited? Presentations. Which one would you prefer? I think because uh, because uh, the first day we have more time. Really long time. Please, we need to see that. Doctor, Anuchai suggests this because we have more time on the first day. Okay. How about change the? Keynote speaker three to be the second one because uh, the time on the the second day is really short because we need time on the second day. How about that? Can we can we we change the topic? Someone so suggested we before that platform and portal will take more time to talk about it. Oh. So, so. Oh. So would it be like this? Um, let me make it bold. Presentation and discussion on policy level involving JMOOC, KMOOC, TAIMOOC, and invited presentations. Each would have 10 minutes. 
and more discussion until the end. Okay, thank you very much. So the discussion will continue until the end of the day, um, followed by followed by the welcoming dinner. This is going to be the first day. And then for the second day, we will have um, keynote speaker three who will focus on in uh, institutional level. Once again, this speaker has 20 minutes for presentation and 10 minutes Q&A. Um, after that, <clears throat> we're going to continue with presentation and discussion. At 10.45, <clears throat> we're going to have 15 minutes refreshment break. After the break, we're going to have more discussion. But for this one, we will go to lunch at 12 o'clock because in the afternoon, we have a lot of things to do. We have one hour lunch. At 1 p.m., we come back for keynote number four. Still given 20 minutes talk and 10 minutes Q&A. And then at 1.30 to 3 p.m., we have presentations and discussion. After that, we have 15 minutes refreshment break. After the break, we're going to have parallel discussions. One room will remain and discuss on future direction of our group. And another room, the ASEM stakeholders will get together and have the meeting. This will be for 45 minutes. Okay. Too short. Okay, two hours. But the ASEM stakeholders also need to attend the keynote session, right? So then it could be that they have to stay up late. Okay, because we want to end the day. Uh, if we keep it like this before we make a change, um, at 4 p.m. we're going to come back together at the same room to have um, a talk on adoption of Bangkok statement as per the feedback we gathered from the, um, the, the meetings. And then we're going to make some summar uh, summarization of the event, followed by announcement of the next host and the details. Because if we keep, um, if we do it like this, uh, we, we change it to be two hours, we're going to finish the day by about 6 p.m. 6 p.m. quite long. Half past one, so they will not listen to keynote number four. Okay, right. Oh, okay, after the keynote. To, to make uh, the change according to our discussion 
on the second day, <coughs> we will start morning with the keynote number three, who will focus on the institutional level, followed by presentations from JK and T. Mook and invited presentations. This will continue until lunchtime. Lunchtime will be 12 o'clock to 1 p.m. And then we're going to have keynote uh, number four, who will focus on subject and program level for half an hour. After that, we're going to have parallel session running for two hours from 1.30 to um, 3.30. This will be a parallel session. One room will uh, continue panel discussion. Another room will be RSM stakeholders meeting. Uh, at 3.30, we can have refreshment break. And after that, we will join together again for the wrap-up session, which we will have the adoption of Bangkok statement, um, summarization of the events, and announcements of the next host and detail. Would this sound okay? Okay, if this is um, agreed upon, then please allow me to give you a big hand. Um, if it is possible, could you please kindly suggest possible candidate for our keynotes? Keynote number one, he will or he will focus on the policy level. Uh, I have a name uh, from Hong Kong uh, Education University. Uh, he's been working with us for a long time, and he can be making a kind of uh, keynote presentation in the, for the first one. But I, I need to contact him for, for his availability. Uh, but for other names, I think uh, I would like to ask uh, uh, Thai Cyber University to collect names, possible names, potential names, and then we may think of finalize if everybody is agreed then then we can send our invitation letter right uh, we can s now start collecting possible speakers from uh, and i hope that uh, also from our network uh, i hope uh, we can have one from thailand uh, as a host host country uh, and also if uh, possible, from Korea and Japan, I don't know if uh, if you can suggest some people. Uh, but this is uh, f actually to provide an overview of the issues. You know, uh, it's beyond national uh, perspective. If it's possible, uh, since we are the funding, you know, member, right? And then I think it's better if uh, Japan and Korea uh, can and Thailand can can think of. Uh, for me, I would like to suggest one who is now working in Hong Kong uh, universe, Education University. He's a Singaporean. He's quite good. Uh, but for other three, I think it's be, if Thailand uh, it can, can suggest some people, uh, and also Japan and Korea, uh, if possible, this it can be a uh, For example, the platforms, right? Platforms, I think um, maybe Japan can do some some <laughs> some desk uh, study, you know, and then to see if uh, there's anything you can we would like to mention. Uh, regarding the keynote from Japan, as uh, I'm a one one candidate is uh, our president. Uh, president will be uh, participate for the uh, sign of the uh, MOU anyway. Yes, so. Yes. Wasada University, Wasada right, University. and uh, chair chairperson of the uh, university, uh, Open University of Japan now.
Someone from the Thailand should be. Yeah, Thai. For the panel, and how many people? Yes, normally maybe six or five or six, but it's too much, <laughs> depending on the time. Yes, uh, the number of uh, panelists will be depending on the topic. Uh, maybe we can engage more uh, people uh, for the platforms platforms and we can invite more people but for for policy maybe we only invite people from this mature country right who are really doing something um, maybe Malaysia maybe uh, I think China um, for policy is very good um, Malaysia and uh, so it cannot be always the same country right we can engage different countries uh, so um, yeah, we can actually, I, I think the organizer, I mean, um, can think of the potential names and then let's let's communicate on this, right, uh, through email. And we can get all the people copied in our communication. Is it possible? Uh, don't use messengers. <laughs> don't use messengers. Email, email. Uh, we, we check email all, all the time, no, uh, no problem. Uh, so uh, can we just start identifying uh, these uh, panelists for every session, right? And uh, if uh, if you need our support, then we can really ask people in our network. Okay. Then the facilitator of every session. Uh, we should also give the responsibility to the country uh, delegates, right? To the people from the countries. Um, just, just to make sure that we have understanding uh, in the same way for the possible keynotes for the policy level, uh, UNESCO will kindly arrange. It could be professor from Hong Kong or Singapore or former president of Waseda University. Okay. Oh, platform. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Now for the third one, institutional level, um, 
Korea will arrange, Professor So will, will make arrangement, am I right? And for the subject and program level, TCU will make arrangement. This will be for the um, keynotes. For the um, possible candidate for the um, panels, uh, we're still working on it. And after the uh, panels, we also need to have facilitators. In this case, we should need four facilitators. So any suggestion on the um, panel, panelists, please? Okay, so for JMOOC, then JMOOC will make arrangement. KMOOC, KMOOC arrange. Uh, Thai MOOC, Thai, Thai, Thai CC will make arrangement. For the invited presentations, how about uh, UNESCO make arrangement? Since you have vast um, network. And how about the um, facilitator for each session? And just to make it to be confirmed, to be designed, uh, because it's still too early, but, but depending on the participants, uh, the final list of participants, but basically we can uh, request uh, representatives from Japan, Korea, and, you know, to chair this in, in, in <coughs> one by one and make it more representative of the region sometimes. But but no, don't always use Japan, China, and uh, Korea because they are all from East Asia, right? We, we can only engage one. Uh, sometimes we, do, we should pay more attention to this, uh, you know. This is very diplomatic, actually. So I will write it down to be announced. TBA. TBA. Having an um, MC. We also need an MC to connect all different sessions. So this MC is, should be from Thai Cyber University. Oh, yes. yes. Very good. <laughs> Okay, um, we have already made a program together. We already think of the possible speakers together. Um, from now until the event, we don't have that much time. May I propose that we set up a working group just to carry on the, uh, the information. It doesn't have to be this big group anymore. So there are going to be um, key persons from each representative. Yeah, we need to include people who are, who are really um, involved in the preparation of this meeting. Uh, maybe KMOX, JMOX, and also UNESCO Bangkok, Thai Cyber University, that's co-members. Then uh, for every communication, we get everybody copied, right? Then it's easier. Uh, and for, for the uh, identification of the panel uh, panelists, Right. Uh, it's also easy, we, we may suggest. Maybe some sessions we may engage four or five, but for the second session we, we may engage more. Give them more time. So it's flexible and uh, uh, we also need to think of uh, having a reporter or something, a note taker, uh, you know, uh, so that we can really do some good uh, consolidate uh, synthesis report, which is also very, very. Uh, so I don't know. It's depending on on on, on how we, uh, if we have big budget or small budget. For UNESCO, sometimes we did it by ourselves. But if we have budget, maybe we just <laughs> contract a person to do all the things. You know, uh, with deliverables very clear. You know, you need to prepare, submit this, submit this. 
then we are very happy, you know, it's uh, it's very easy time. But if there's no budget, we have to do it by myself. I had the experience of following all the presentations, then to do the wrap-up report immediately with four pages, five pages. But before the meeting, I read all the presentations, and I prepared a, a, a framework. So we, when I was receiving inputs, I put it here, put it here, put it here. So it's also easy for, uh, but it's also very heavy, heavy writing sometimes. So it's easy, it's good if we can engage people, consultant, which is good to follow the meeting and prepare all the things. For the budgeting, I have no clue. <laughs> I understand to hire a repertoire would cost a lot of money, and that person must be very capable. I actually had some good experience with UNESCO events. You used to have excellent repertoire before. I don't know if that costs a lot or... <laughs> uh, as you know, uh I've been in, uh, working with UNESCO uh, for four four years. I'm, I'm trying to establish my own team, right, uh, which are su supporting me, you know. But uh, unfortunately, I was not very successful. Uh, but but you know, sometimes I pay less. But sometimes, if budget is enough, then I pay more, right? So. Um, uh, uh, People are not that serious about the real, uh, you know, amount of uh, of money, right? Uh, if they would like to have a long-standing relationship with UNESCO, maybe it's not that much, right? So uh, I think for this kind of meeting, I think uh, not very high, um, but we will uh, calculate this to s how many days, right? And then uh, apply according to UNESCO rates, you know middle level, high level, executive is very expensive, right? So we always apply this middle level and how many days, and uh, it's easy to calculate. Then uh, normally we develop TOR. Let's discuss it later, right? This one, uh, if, uh, if UNESCO has a budget, let me also check the balance of our own budget and then to see if we can uh, but otherwise, maybe we can ask uh, if Thai Cyber University can contribute or maybe other platform can contribute. Any more comments, please? I, I write it down on the f um, screen that we are now talking about um, repertoire. Uh, I don't know if spelling is right, <laughs> if not, sorry. And then we also need logistics person who will uh, understand the arrival and the, all the details, the hotel bookings and the arrangement. Um, one thing that I can be certain is the video recording and uh, televising, if any, it can be done by TCU. <clears throat> uh, I have housekeeping information, please. It's been a long discussion this afternoon. We will bring the break in the room, or what would you like? You'd like to walk? If not, then I will serve coffee within the room. Okay, coffee will come, plus some um, cakes. Maybe we have to uh, discuss about the role and responsibility of, of this, of maybe a very broad or not, not so detailed.
I think we are nearing the end. Um, just just to to make sure that our event will be as expected. Uh, briefly, may I write um, what do we call? For example, before the event happens, there would be some respons uh, responsibilities um, identified. At the moment, invitation will be done by UNESCO, am I right? Invitations to the speakers. I remember that we we used to discuss in the topic like the two logo of the office, office of the OHEC and UNESCO, both signed together for the invitation letter. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From the OHEC, I pass that. I I will ask the deputy director. Deputy Secretary General or the Secretary General to sign both with the UNESCO. The uh, idea that uh, do we need to discuss about the budget from uh, any part come from uh, come from TCU or UNESCO or right now or maybe later, maybe now. For for, for funding, the budget. For for the budget, we also mm -hmm. uh, we, we have people from ASEM, we have people from, uh, uh, yeah, so, so, can TCU support all? No. No. No need. We, we will. Personal, and then uh, that is, uh, the the money from from Korea. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. For 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 local, we we yeah, Okay. Yeah. Okay. Accommodation, meals, and then transportation in country, everything belong to Thailand cyber. I think that I also need for the name of the invited speaker or the panelist because it's very, it is very short time, only February, four weeks. I cannot count for it for this month. January is have gone. Can, can, we, can we have now? If can we arrange the, uh, the invited speaker now? With the name.
would, would like to repeat uh, for the institutional level, the representative from, from JMOOC is professor in Sophia University, right? Okay. Sophia University. Uh, institutional. No, no, just a, a pan. <laughs> I would like to repeat. Oh, panel. <laughs> a panelist, panelist. Panelist. Not, not that one, the institutional level one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. a panelist mm -hmm. from, uh, nominate from JMU. Okay, Sophia University. I think each of our organization need time to work out about the name of the panelists. So I think within this week, if it's possible, our organization send the name of the panelists of each station. In yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. And we will use this kind of technology, share document, so all of us can see the same, the, the same thing, the same information. Uh, one more candidate from JMOOC. Uh, the, uh, uh, the panelist for uh, platform portal, uh, the, uh, at the moment, the candidate is uh, the Professor Yamada. We'll join. No problem. Yeah. Yes, the speaker of uh, institutional level will be the Professor Lim Jin Hyuk uh, from UNIST, South Korea, uh, Republic of Korea. Here, yes, this one. Yes, the speaker. 
not panel, panel, panelist. So um, this is getting good. We have at least one keynote speaker confirmed. So thank you very much, <laughs> which is Professor Im. <laughs> okay, and we have um, one panelist confirmed, which is Professor Yamada. Excellent. <coughs> and we know that there is going to be one panelist from Sofia University from Japan. I'm not sure if they have someone they would like to utilize. Thank you, I recommend you. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> As a duo with Dr. Chintawi. Just to inform our participants, uh, movement on Thai MOOC. Thai MOOC is actually expected to launch, I mean, real teaching activities by March this year. So during this event, we are going to really have Thai MOOC classes available. I'm uh, not available, but really teaching. I am talking about 100 courses this March. And uh, each course would have at least 250 students enrolled. So that, that would be a um, <clears throat> very big time for Thailand, uh, which happened at the same time as this um, event. So this March is a big day for Thai education in the new era. Uh, some courses will be available in March. Some courses will be uh, available in April. As a panelist, platform and portal level. Because of the law forbidding the conflict of interest between us and the government. Yeah. 
So we, 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 we receive a uh, pro project from the Ministry of Education, so we cannot support, we cannot sponsor the government officer to here. So if you invite him or her, maybe it's possible. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's no problem, yeah. So I think we come up with a very important issue about the objective, the participants, and uh, the important keynote panelists, some of the panelists, and we will, we will work, continuing to work until the end of the week, and we will finalize the list of uh, invitation people, and also the program. Maybe I, do you have anything to add to make the 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 conference more put <laughs> through. I I think absolutely. Oh, okay, please, Professor Yamada. Universities, Asian Association of Open Universities people. At, at the moment, the president is um, IAOU, is the president of UPOU, University of Philippines, Open Universities. He is also, um, she is also a uh, uh, the steering committee chair of AOU MOOC portal or something. So AOU, for example, AOU just planning to launch. Uh, they have already launched uh, some kind of portals of regional, regional portals of MOOCs. Uh, but um, we also uh, uh, so uh, consider the some federation with European MOOC portals. So at the moment, we have no idea uh, which organization should be the gateway to European so uh, counterpart. So um, maybe uh, ESM is also uh, ASM is also a possibility. So they will use portal for possibility. If we, uh, if this group will launch, for example, TCU launched such kind of the portal, regional portals, so um, so the pot so. This uh, potential part, uh, portal can be 
a counterpart of such European voters. But at the moment, I'm not sure. system running or this here and there, right? But uh, I think every country tried to be, become a hub of, uh, of uh, online resources. Uh, so it's, it's interesting you know, uh, to, to, to harmonize sometimes. Introduce, you introduce yes, uh, this uh, lady to 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 Kaisai University and then you better if Thai Cyber University can think of giving some uh, some sponsorship to representatives from Myanmar, from Cambodia. Less, yeah, 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 yeah.
card. Okay. Yeah. And for Jemuk, for Jemuk. Okay. Miss Park. Okay. Miss Park. Yeah. And Yoshimi Sensei. And Yoshimi Sensei, uh, who will be the contact person from JMOOC side for, for work, continuing or working after this meeting? Who will be the contact person, contact point for JMOOC? Okay, you, okay. No problem. And for Tem. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, the the document circulation will be circulated to all of us. Yeah, but maybe we need some discussion. Okay, from from Thai side maybe me. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I think that may be successful of our uh, conference planning. Yeah, so we have very last session about MOU, MOU discussion. In, in the, in the file, file <coughs> the document number three, In the same link that I have <coughs> provided, there is a file called Doc Tree MOU. If you open that, you will see draft um, MOU. Uh, please allow me to to say again: this is draft only, and everything, um, our suggestion is welcome. This is um, trilateral <coughs> MOU between um, JMU, KMU, <coughs> and TAIMU. Please note that um, the order of the um, the names would be by alphabetical order. So it says that Japan Massive Open Online Education Council, JMOOC, um, Nai, who is representative of <coughs> KMOOC, and um, OHEC under MOE is a representative of Thai MOOC joined together as partners for the following understandings. And then <clears throat> there would be general objectives. There would be forms of exchange and cooperation. Um, there would be areas of exchange and cooperation <clears throat> followed by funding settlement of differences, applicable organization, uh, commencement, termination, and review, and remark. The document will be signed by uh, President of JMOOC, President of NIA, and then Secretary General of OHEC. So this is the draft. My, my comment from JMUK. Uh, yesterday I read this one uh, for, uh, as my uh, homework. And uh, generally uh, I think it's uh, okay. But uh, to, uh, before finalizing, uh, we got the, uh, our uh, legal check by a lawyer. So uh, the, after the uh, legal check, uh, there's some uh, the comments from lawyer. Uh, uh, if we have, uh, we'll uh, send the all of the uh, members. Maybe okay, but uh, uh, please uh, 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 take the time to get a, uh, approval from the uh, our lawyer. The 
in this session, we read and agree on on the very broad idea or the rationale of the MOU, but for the legally maybe similar to JMOOC from Thai side, we also need to approve from the legal legal session, maybe. So in, in the main, in the very broad agenda, I think this is the area of activity that we should uh, work together, cooperation, Also, the very uh, um, general idea is an, uh, I, I agree with this, this uh, uh, draft, uh, no problem. For the draft of the MOU, I, that for like the, I did the, the step of this document, I have to pass to the Office of the International Relations and Office of the Law. So that will pass to office and then act directly to the uh, Secretary General, Permanent Secretary General. I pass that. We will take time, but I will try to do the best. It's hopefully, hopefully, it will be on time on that day that we will show up for the side of ceremony. For the academic collaboration, I think that this is really easy because of my experience when I <coughs> conduct the MOU between the YouTube or Google company, it will take like a half year. I'm going to the office of the many office, not only in the OHEC, but also for the lawyer, what you call, uh, what you call court, the high court. Uh, court. Royal High Court of yes. Thailand. It's it beyond us. I have to give like a explain long explanation for three hours for for that like <coughs> give there that more detail. That for this uh, document only three pages. I think very easy. <laughs> I will let you know as soon as possible. I will start for tomorrow after our meeting. We pass to the to office. No, okay. One more comment from Jim. Uh, anyway, thank you for uh, drafting uh, Dr. Su. And uh, we had a, a, a board meeting uh, last week, and uh, the uh, signing the MOU itself is approved in, the, in our uh, board meeting. So uh, the uh, only one thing is the, the legal check. This is just a comment. Uh, as you look at the two retro MOUs, the contents of two retro MOUs, actually there is no binding uh, articles. Uh, uh, just uh, in case of uh, practical corporations, we need to confirm each other about the funds and pract practicality or feasibility of that project, so, uh, it, each project. So I think uh, you, you, of course, you need to go through your internal uh, processes. So I think we, we need, uh, I, I think, enough time to consider like uh, one and a half months. So you, I, I think it's quite com com comprehensive in nature. So I think you don't, I think you, you don't face uh, difficulties in your internal 
uh, process. So You can hear me? You can hear me? Yes. If if three three part three part uh, three party agree on this MOU, who will sign the document on the second of March in the, at the ceremony? The, the in the case of uh, KMOOC, the president key will attend and sign the document and how about you and your chair, Secretary General, right? So I, I think we agree, we all three move, agree about the MOU, and I would like to make an acknowledgement that this MOU was draft fully by a KMOOC team by Dr. So. Yeah, thank you very much. And pre pre small thing for the signing of the MOU, uh, could you please uh, prepare the uh, very special pen for the uh, memory of the signing? from our keynote speaker, and he gladly accepted. So thank you for extending the invitation. Um, there was just a, a slight issue with scheduling. Unfortunately, he was unavailable on March 2nd. So in our storyline, we would say, if you can arrive and speak on March 3rd, then maybe we should be building at institutional level, building up to policy level, and then we would move policy from day one to policy on day two. Last day. Is that OK? And any questions or comments? Right, so we just flip. Great. Yeah, and we'll pass around the name, uh, Sherling Ping, uh, Chair Professor, actually, in technology. Okay, thank you very much. Um, may I please um, confirm that we agree upon the MOU and each of us will go and work with the lawyer to have it confirmed, hopefully by <coughs> the, um, the date of our event so we can sign it uh, and the 
representative from each side who will sign it. Names are shown over there. <clears throat> then we also agree that we move the keynote speaker, uh, number one, who will talk on the policy level to day two. So I have revised um, the program. Uh, the the program would be changed to be like this. The first one, the first keynote, will talk <coughs> about subject and program level. Okay. The second keynote will talk about platform and portal level. The third keynote will talk about institutional level. Okay. Okay, yeah. all right, we will make a, a revision. So it will start with subject program level, and then institutional level, and then uh, platform level, and conclude by the policy level. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay, thank you very much. So um, this is clear. I understand that there is a working group after this to uh, circulate this information to all of us, and they will continue to work on the small details of the event after this. Uh, before we end the day, uh, first, we would like to say a big uh, thank you to Professor uh, Hunju So for his making a draft of the MOU. So big hand to him, please. Um, before we conclude, any more comments or any more suggestions, please? Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> I think it has been a long day. So thank you very much all and see you tomorrow. Thank you. Such a long, long day that we also conclude our meeting for today meeting already. And again, thank you so much for your time, your contribution for our the first Asia Pacific MOOC Stakeholder Summit 2016. And <coughs> I think that is not complete for our meeting yet. We should celebrate our the first day meeting with dinner.